So why do so many women get stuck in the trap of middle management when working in corporate roles? Um, and also how to get out of it. If we, if you look at a workforce globally on average, all size of you know companies, uh, especially kind of mid, mid you know to bigger sizes, we find that there is a, a big layer of middle management where uh, many women tend to get stuck in, and they tend to be kind of towards their late thirties and into their forties. And why does that happen? There are a number of reasons at play, and we're going to cover. Um, all of them in the next few days. But today I want to talk especially about um, a the, the, the first reason that uh, I think is uh, the, the main contributing factor. When you are in middle management, uh, everyone tends to rely heavily on you. So you get the exec and the board that comes to you with um, big chunky items, presentations, reports that you need to kind of churn on a daily basis. And then you get more junior members of staff that heavily rely on you for guidance, hands-on guidance. And also, if you're in a client-facing role, you are that kind of um, front you know, of the shop that uh, takes a lot of the pressure, a lot of the requests and handling of you know, important clients. So this request coming in left, right and centre, you are stretched too thin, you, stretch, uh, you start with a to-do list which increases during the day rather than decreasing. So you go around in circles and then apart from the actual physical amount of stuff that you need to do, there is a stress and overwhelm that comes with it because you go to bed like not having been, not having been able to do what you wanted to be able to do that day probably you lost also sense of what is important that you should be doing or not because you're so busy and you can't think. And that's the, the issue. So the getting stuck comes from the fact that when we are just going in circles and running around on the treadmill, um, we're not able to think strategically. We're not able to think strategically about what is important that we should be putting our focus on, our full focus on. We can, you know, multitasking, running around, but also not thinking strategically about what um, increases our influence. What are those projects that we really should be focusing on to increase our influence within uh, the company in order for us to progress our career to the next level? So the work starts always within, yes, we can change our environment, our, you know, the company we work for, our boss and so on and so forth. But really, the work starts within to stop languishing, to find, first of all, that space and balance and shifting from a mindset where we want to ma um, manage time to managing our energy physically, mentally and emotionally so that we can create that space and peace for thinking strategically about you know our path and then yes we can start kind of developing in in other ways understanding whether what's the right path for us but unless we do that work first on finding that inner balance physically emotionally and mentally and balancing our energy um, then you can't get clarity and confidence so if you want to join in uh, this debate, we um, have it on our Facebook group. So join my free Facebook group, which is the Reset Formula for Women. You will find the link in the comments or description. So we would love to talk more about this with you if you're interested. And otherwise, some more um, tips here tomorrow.